Hello everyone. Welcome to the hand gesture recognition demo. This video will show you how to train a machine learning model for hand gesture recognition and deploy it to a low power edge device, all from within MATLAB and Simulink. We use MATLAB to collect hand gesture data for flex and punch, and then train a machine learning model. We then use a Simulink library block for performing inference on an Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. To collect data from the Arduino Nano 33 board and deploy a model, you need MATLAB and Simulink support packages for Arduino hardware. To install these support packages in MATLAB, go to the Home tab and in the Environment section, click the Add-ons icon. The Add-on Explorer opens and displays a list of available add-ons. Search for Arduino and then install MATLAB support package for Arduino and Simulink support package for Arduino add-ons. First, we need some training data. To collect the raw data for the flex and punch hand gestures, use the provided MATLAB function named capture underscore training underscore data. Make sure to update the COM port number and the name of the Arduino board you're using before running the script. Connect the Arduino board to a USB port on your computer and then execute this command in the MATLAB command window. Hold the Arduino hardware in the palm of your hand and throw a flex. To create a dataset of 100 frames for a flex gesture, throw your hand for a flex 100 times. A 1 by 100 cell array of gesture data samples is now available in workspace. Run the script again and this time throw punches to collect another cell array of gesture data samples. Alternatively, you can use the data collected previously. This data set is loaded and used in the next step. During data collection, 119 measurements are read from the accelerometer and the gyroscope in each frame representing a hand gesture. Each measurement has six values obtained from the X, Y, and Z axis of the accelerometer and the gyroscope. We need to extract representative features from each measurement. To accomplish this, we take the mean and the standard deviation of each column in a frame. To train a decision tree model using the training data, use the fitc tree function. You can use cross-validation to measure the accuracy of your trained machine learning model. For example, you can perform five-fold cross-validation using the k-fold loss function and then evaluate the model's performance on the test data using the loss function. The trained model accurately classifies 100% of the hand gestures on the test data set. This result confirms that the trained model does not overfit the training data set. After you have a trained machine learning model, you can use the classification tree predict block in Simulink to predict hand gestures on the device. This Simulink model contains I.O. blocks for reading sensor data and displaying results on the Arduino board. In the Simulink model, we also have components for pre-processing raw sensor data. Pre-processed data is then used as an input to the classification tree predict block for predicting hand gestures. To generate code, build it and deploy it to the Arduino board, on the Hardware tab of the Simulink model, click Build, Deploy and Start. For easy analysis of the hand gesture data being recognized by the machine learning model, run the following script in the MATLAB command window and read the data on the Arduino serial port. 
Replace the port parameter with the actual COM port of the Arduino board connected to your computer. The gesture detected by the machine learning algorithm is displayed on the Arduino serial port. After the code is deployed and while the script is running, hold the hardware in the palm of your hand and throw a punch or a flex. Observe the output in the MATLAB command window. You can develop additional hand gestures and use the same steps to train a new machine learning model and deploy it to the Arduino hardware. The classification tree predict block is in the statistics and machine learning toolbox Simulink library. All the predict blocks in this library support a wide range of model-based design capabilities, such as software in the loop and processor in the loop verifications. These blocks provide a simple interface for adjusting data types in generated code. You can use floating point data types such as single and half precision for lower memory requirement compared to double precision. You can quantize both machine learning model parameters and inference operation to generate purely integer code for faster performance and an even lower memory footprint. You can specify fixed point data types manually or use fixed point tool to convert to fixed point automatically. Thank you for watching.